Daily news, two coffees, regular, please. I was living in newly married comfort over on Atlantic Avenue in Brooklyn. Every day, my wife and I would step out of our apartment house together and make our way down to the A-train at the Hoyt Shimmerhorn Station. She would head south to her morning kindergarten class, and I would head north into Manhattan. This particular day was our three-month anniversary. As a trader of municipal bonds, I saw this date in terms of a quarterly report. Things were better than expected. Now, I know I told you about him before. He's the one that's always getting into trouble. Holly Calora just walks right up to him and gives the, this sweet little peck on the cheek. It was the funniest thing, and the whole class just busts out laughing and cheering. Anyway, it was the most adorable thing. And it was like his first kiss, you know? It was mm -hmm. so sweet. It was a chance encounter, really, in which I was entirely uninvolved. So I told myself at the time, anyway. Although I couldn't help believing it, it was just some strange coincidence. I couldn't help hoping that it wasn't. Or was it fate? Whichever, our little chance encounters continued this way every day for nearly nine months. Our relationship developed its own silent rules, strictly obeyed. Expressions of greeting and farewell were unthinkable. No word ever passed between us and no sign, not even a shared glance or smile. But once our contact was established, it provided the means by which the rocking of the train became our own sensuous rhythm. I began to think of my hand as possessing a powerful attraction, in the way the males of certain animal species have natural adornments that females find irresistible, like the peacock's fan. At the same time, I understood what was happening between us could not be duplicated even if I spent every available hour clutching poles in full view of all the city's females. I'm ready. Ready to take the next step. Oh, God. What would I possibly say to her? Share my views on Republican Party politics? <clears throat> what if she's a Democrat? Some comment about the weather? Too banal. I want you to love me for more than my hand. Jesus. All right. Let's spoil the mystery. 
we've had this thing going for a little bit of time now, you know. <clears throat> and I think that maybe, you know, we should have a, a conversation, you know. God forbid. Excuse me. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Did you, did you hear me? Excuse me. That's out of the question? What? I'm sorry. Our first fight. I suddenly remembered Artery's territorial imperative from my psychology class in college. I understood then that I was only potent and attractive in that small area around the pole. Outside of it, the electricity would fail. I guess I thought I'd found something with her that I could not find in my own marriage. But I was wrong. So I left her for the F train. Coincidence, irony, fate, what have you. Thank God, it's all behind me. Who is that? Did you know her? Honey, who was that? Who was that? I don't know. I don't know who that was. 